Hello beautiful humans, I'm Gem Madrone and today I want to talk about stage five of the spiritual awakening process. And so I put an outline, a PDF in the Facebook group and you can go back and reference that. There's other videos about the first four stages so you can go back and look at those and if you have a hard time finding them just let me know and I can tag you in them. Um, so we're on to stage five today, which is, which I call the void. And so keeping in mind first that these are, is just my basic outline. This is nothing that's set in stone. This is, um, from observations that I've made from myself and from, um, many, many people that I've worked with. And this is a loose outline because awakening is not linear and it's not the same for everyone. But these are stages that seem to be similar for almost everyone and so it can help us to understand where we're at and what we're going through, what we can expect, and also understand that, you know, a lot of times we just need that understanding that, okay, this is normal. This is part of the process and so I can be patient with it, I can accept it, I can surrender into it and therefore get more out of it. So stage five is the stage of the void or spiritual limbo, as I call it. And this is a stage that often follows the dark night of the soul. And so you've come through the dark night of the soul, which can last anywhere from, you know, a week to several years for some people. And it, that's a whole nother process. But this process comes after you've come through that, you've done a lot of work, you've found some completion and some relief from the really deep shadow work that you've been doing. And as you come out of it, you kind of expect things to just open back up and be back in that place of bliss and excitement and moving forward. But often what happens is that we find ourselves in a place that feels very stagnant. We find ourselves in a place that feels like we have no motivation, that the personal work has stopped. And so there's a contrast of emotions here that we're like happy for the relief, the break, but also kind of uptight and nervous about like, okay, I don't feel like I'm moving forward anymore. Did things stop? Am I going backwards? You know, I kind of liked it when it felt like things were moving, even though it was hard. And now here I am and it just feels like I'm, you know, I'm stuck in the mud. That there's not a whole lot of deep personal work happening. There's not a whole lot of big experiences happening. And we just are in that place of limbo. And the purpose of this part of the process is really all about integration and integrating all of these things that you've learned, all of the things that you've been healing and working on, um, and really completing that process as much as possible on a deep, deep level, as well as um, beginning to realign with your true self. So this is the part of, pro of the process where we've really shed a lot of our old self. We've shed a lot of our old trauma, our old identities, our old belief systems, and, but we haven't really stepped into that new version of ourselves, that higher and true authentic version of ourselves. And so we feel kind of naked, kind of empty, just kind of waiting for something to happen. And this is a really important part of the process. Um, being in this place ensures that we just we don't just go back to the old habits and if we allow ourselves to be in this place and be patient with this part of the process it will keep us from grasping and trying to create a new ego a new maybe more spiritual more attractive ego and so this part of the void this time we spend in limbo is really about continuing to be okay with not knowing and allowing spirit to move through us as we continue to reconnect with the deepest part of ourselves. And so if you're going through this, be patient with yourself. 
Allow yourself to be in the unknown. Give yourself time to rest, to realign, to reconnect with yourself and know that you're not doing anything wrong. And as things come up, and they will, you just move through them as they come up. And being patient with yourself in this way is also how you're learning to move as a person who is now coming from a place of heart-centered, authentic living instead of ego-centered and mind living. And this, this switch takes some time. It takes a little while to figure out. And this is why we often don't have any motivation during this time period or not a whole lot of inspiration because that motivation and inspiration used to come from the ego used to come from the mind. It used to come from like, I should do this, I'm supposed to do this, so I'm gonna do it. And now that's no longer there. That motivation is gone. That sort of inspiration is gone because it's not authentic to who we are. And so this time period is about starting to move into a new way of moving forward in our life. Moving from heart-centered action, heart-centered inspiration, heart-centered motivation, um, and authentic living is much different from the way that we used to do it. So giving ourselves this time to make that transition and to allow the integration to happen is really, really essential. So be kind with yourself, be patient with yourself, nourish your nervous system, do the self-care, Keep doing the meditations, keep moving towards the thing you're interested in, but also know that this is a really important place to be and allow yourself to just be in this void for a little bit. So if you are struggling with this part of the process and you would like some help understanding what's going on or if you feel like you've been in it for too long and you're ready to move forward and you don't know how, then please reach out to me and we'll see if the work that I do can, um, with other clients is helpful for you. And if you have any questions about this, please let me know um, and you can leave them in the comments. Um, and then I'm gonna do the next video, the very last one, um, covering the last two stages. So I'm just sending so much love to you all. Thank you guys for doing your work in these crazy times that we're living in. This is such important work and I just love you all. So I'll see you in the Facebook group. Bye.